James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is September 16th, 2023, noon central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. NASA has put out a statement on Sunspot AR3429, the directly Earth-facing sunspot that has been popping off solar flares. Let's see what they have to say. Earth-directed solar flares. Sunspot AR3429 is crackling with M-class solar flares. This activity was all from September 15th and shows extreme ultraviolet flashes from four separate M-flare eruptions, all Earth-directed. Pulses of radiation from this sunspot are ionizing the top of Earth's atmosphere, creating a rolling series of shortwave radio blackouts over all longitudes of our planet. Ham radio operators, pilots, and mariners have noticed occasional losses of signal, especially at frequencies below 20 megahertz. This is where me and NASA differ as usual. So far, none of the explosions has hurled a coral mass ejection towards Earth. They have all been too brief to lift a CME out of the sun's atmosphere. However, there's a huge magnetic filament snaking around the sunspot group itself. If continued flaring destabilizes the filament, it could and should erupt and hurl significant debris towards Earth. With that said, I want to show you the last three M flares, all directly Earth facing, coming from Sunspot AR3429. The last one being an M3.33 that occurred about 6 UTC time. Uh, right about midnight here centrally and that stayed in M territory for almost an hour time period an M 3.33 solar flare what a strange number but my feelings are is that that would have been more than enough strength wise and time period wise to lift a coral mass ejection and hurl it towards earth so you can almost be assured one is on the way, period. That only happened a few hours ago, and they might have written their statement prior to that, but it would be very surprising if that long of a duration M3.33 solar flare did not lift a coronal mass ejection off the sun and hurl it into space towards Earth as it's directly Earth-facing. Here we are taking a look at Sunspot 3429 down here. And, uh, well, it's directly our facing. That can be said for it. And it's very active with three M flares in the last 24 hours. Just a heads up out there. Uh, if this did lift a chrome mass ejection towards Earth, we would be looking at an impact in or around the 18th the 18th of November. God bless you guys. Share, subscribe, and always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.